Hey guys, today I'm going to talk a little bit about a boa morph, which is a bit of a change up, but I absolutely love boa constrictors. And today we're actually going to talk a little bit about more than just their basic species or species differentiation, and that is the IMG boa. <clears throat> so these guys have a bit of a history behind them. They were first proven out by Peter Call, who's over in the east. Um, a few years ago, he went to, I think it was the Daytona show, or, uh, yeah, I think it was the Daytona show down in Florida, and he picked up a, just a regular looking boa that was just a little bit dark, and he brought it home, and it kind of kept getting dark, and so he reproduced it, and he produced some pretty dark babies then out of that litter, and then he bred one of them back to the mom, and then he managed to produce that this thing is this super dark boa. And he called it the increasing melanin gene, which was the specific gene that as it sheds, as it gets older, the melanin production just keeps increasing. So increasing melanin gene, IMG boa. It can vary from boa to boa, but as a whole, they will eventually become super, super dark black snakes. I probably like these guys more than most of the different boa morphs out there because I'm just a little partial to black and white snakes. This is Alpha. He's been in one or two other videos before. He can be a little grumpy at times, so hopefully he puts up with this for you guys and do a little bit about that. So the IMG boas. So those guys are the boa imperators or the common boa. So those are the ones that all have the regular, uh, I shouldn't say regular. So they're, they're the ones that used to be called BCI, which uh, before they got changed to their own actual individual species separate from the boa constrictor constrictors or the true red tails. So all the morphs and stuff like that are boa imperators, including these IMGs. Alpha is a little special because he actually does come from uh, Peter Call's stock, not directly, but he has some uh, CA or Central American T positive in him. So what that means is that he is a IMG boa, which is a dominant trait. So if you bred him to him, it's not like a codom or an incomplete dominant where it's 50-50 and then if you breed two of them together, you'll get a super form. It's just a dominant trait, so either it is or it isn't. They are a little polygenic, so you can get some that are darker than others. He is almost pure black with only a few little speckles here and there, mostly on his tail. But he was bred to a CAT positive, so the tyrosinate positive albino, and the CA is a specific locality and bloodline of that type of T positive. There's a couple other out there like the VPI, or if you could consider like the bow and caramel, or even to be completely honest, the sharp strain of albino probably has something in there that doesn't make it a true T, T negative albino, which means a true albino, no tyrosinate at all. But there's more things in reptiles that control pigment and skin color than just tyrosinate anyway. But just want to do a little bit of a show off video, how cool these IMG boas are. When you breed these things to albino, regardless of the strain, more color does actually come through and saturate it. So for instance, if you had just a call albino or a sharp albino with IMG in there, you get a very orange or very yellow snake. Uh, so for instance, so like the regular sun, the regular call sunglow. So it's kind of that yellowy pink snake with those really orange bands. With the IMG in there, those bands get a lot thicker they turn into a more completely solid kind of orangey yellow snake. And that's really cool. Hopefully we're gonna be putting him to a, uh, either a CA sun glow. So a visually T positive mixed with a hypo. And then we have another girl who we'll see if she wants to breed or not is a visual T positive CA as well. And then a motley. So we'll have to see what that is. We're not sure if he's a motley or not. His brother was a motley. And he is, and he wasn't as dark as when he was uh, first neonate, but he's gotten so dark. And as it is, a lot of the times what happens is the motley is already kind of a darker gene to begin with, that when you put an IMG and a motley together, they usually get these very, very almost solid black snakes. As you can see, there's just a little bit of color there on his tail. So hopefully he's not a motley and then we don't produce super motleys because that's kind of a bit of a no-no essentially because a lot of the babies you'll create you know, these very dark, almost jet black snakes, but they are a bit of a lethal gene. They've, we've heard some anecdotal stories of some living a couple years, but there's never, they're never really all quite right. You know, they're all a little bit different, but 
just a little bit of a show off for you guys to see that, you know, ball pythons aren't the only snakes that have a bunch of really cool genes. Um, I'm really getting into colubrids and stuff, but I've always been a boa guy at heart. They weren't my first snakes, but they were really the ones that made me fall in love with snakes. And I just love this IMG boa and I greatly look forward to being able to plug him in in another two years or so when the girls get a little bit bigger. Um, boys, just like in a lot of other snakes, they will hit sexually maturity a little bit faster. And he's a little bit older than the other ones that I had too. So, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just showing off this guy. He's really cool. I love him to death. He used to be a really touchy defensive snake when he was an neonate. And he can still be a little defensive at times. And, then, you know, as you work with any snake that you have for a long time, you kind of get to know and know their personalities from either body language. So, most of the time when he doesn't want to be messed with, I don't mess with him. Kind of the same with any of the snakes, which is why sometimes I don't have any snakes out on the videos ones that are appropriate for the videos. They just don't really want to be messed with, but it's a good time to shoot those. But like I said before, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe if you can. If you want to know a little bit more about boa constrictors or specific morphs or anything like that, because I probably don't do enough boa videos as is, uh, let me know down in the comments. If you have any other specific questions or anything like that, hit me up on Jay-Z's Reptiles, Instagram, Facebook. Still working on a website. It's been a whole thing, but... Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'll catch you next time and I hope you guys have a good day.